guys, this is John Spear with Warhammer. Today I'm going to be explaining how to do a double shunt on a elevator system. So, just to give you the components, this is your fire alarm shunt. This is your two pole relay. This is going to be your elevator main disconnect that's shunted. Up here is going to be your cab shunt. And then right here is going to be your 120 power. And then down here is going to be your 24 volts. So those are the components. All right, so just to explain how a shunt works is when heat is detected or smoke is detected, it sets off this shunt, which is normally in the normally closed position. Um, and then when it closes, shoots this thing to basically tell the relay to shut everything power-wise down because if they sprinkle the elevator, it is going to obviously make a metal room electric with all the electrical components inside. So what we're gonna to need to do is understand what all this stuff is. So on, this is gonna be a 24 volt relay, hence why we need the 24 volt transformer. Um, so what we're gonna do is basically We'll start with that first is feed um, something needs to tell this shunt because this is just dry contacts so you need to activate 24 volts somehow so what we did is we brought 120 in to here coming out obviously is going to be your 24 volts comes up into here okay so, um, how you get 24 volts on this is you're going to have to break it because if you just send 24 volts to right here, um, it still becomes a dry contact because it's nothing's going to it, so it will remain in the closed position. Um, so you need something to activate this, and how you accomplish that is by... Um, basically wiring it in a series format. So it'll basically come from the, um, like if we're just gonna say the red leg, okay? So the red leg out of this tran transformer or the positive side will come in to here, one to the coil, and then out of that coil, um, it will just mount right there at the bottom, which in this particular case is going to be number 14 on this. Um, and then the black one of the coil or the second coil will come out and go into the shunt on the common side. And then on the normally open side, you come back out and let's see and then come back out into this red which gets fed back down or the black comes back down sorry black comes back down so you create a series connection so basically it'll have 24 volts to here come out and then since it's on the common side, once this thing closes, opens this thing back up and continues the circuit, hits the coil, the coil turns on, okay? So hopefully I explained that correctly. And then now talking about your 120 power. So this is a 120 shunt, so it needs 120 to shunt or create a direct short 
on um, this guy right here. So to accomplish that, you basically go from the neutral side of your shunt, all your neutrals will connect right here into one bundle. They, there's no need for them to go onto this. So all your neutrals will tie up. Your line side of them will go to um, nine and 12 on your relay. So nine and 12 are down here below the very bottom ones. So that's where your line is coming in for your 120. Your load of the 120, um, which goes to, your load will go to the shunt right here and then the shunt up here. So that's where the load goes and the load goes on the normally closed position, which in this particular case is five and eight. So five and eight are up here and that's why they go up there because you do not want them to be on. So when this thing closes, it will automatically sense, close it, and then bring more 20 to this and that. Um, so that is my little tutorial on how to do a elevator shunt with a 24 volt relay. Um, thank you guys for watching. Once again, my name is John Spear I'm with Warhammer Electric. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. The model I used on this particular deal is gonna be a RHB2-UAC24B. Um, they're handy little relays, work good. Um, once again, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Thank you.